Hello, friends. Father Frank Pavone here, National Director of Priests for Life, with some thoughts about preaching the pro-life message on the 11th Sunday of Year A. God is the shepherd, and he calls laborers to his harvest to gather the harvest. God needs to gather his people in, and he wants others to help him do so. The sheep of his flock, whom he gathers in, are, as the readings tell us today, troubled and abandoned. And God has concern for that. And we see that the activity of demons and the presence of diseases are ravaging God's people. They are his own possession. The psalm says he made us his we are. That We are called, as the readings say, to be his special possession. And when his special possession is being ravaged by disease or infested by demons, it is like they are stealing away from God his own possessions. And God is not going to uh, sit still in the midst of that. He's going to intervene. He's going to ask us to intervene. And this has a deep connection, of course, with the call to be pro-life and to actively defend life. In fact, when the gospel says that we are even going to be able to raise the dead, can it not be interpreted to include that activity by which when children are scheduled for death by abortion, and we intervene and we put hope in the heart of that mother and or father so that the abortion does not take place. After all, have we not raised the dead? Have we not brought these children back from the brink of the grave? And do we not, in the many different ways uh, by which we advocate for the unborn uh, and defend life, especially the most defenseless, do we not fulfill what these readings are saying? When God expresses his desire, his urgent desire, to gather in what is his special possession. Let's inspire our people to do that. And remember the story about Dr. James McMahon, a late-term abortionist in Southern California, now deceased, but he was once interviewed by the American Medical Association News and asked how he could do these late-term abortions. And he said, well, frankly, I know it is a child. But then he said, but the question is, who owns the child? And he said, it's got to be the mother. And we say instead, no human being owns any other human being. Not even a mother owns her own child. God owns us all. And he has entrusted us all to the care of one another. Let us indeed rescue the helpless. Let us intervene. Let us gather God's flock to himself. God bless you.